You're listening to the Monday Night Community Show with Daniel on BRFM. This is the Daniel Monday Night Community Show on demand through YouTube. Thank you very much for choosing to listen to us through this method. If you'd like to keep up to date with when I add new interviews, then subscribe to this channel. We're going to be talking to uh, Natalie from Kent Creative Arts. We're going to be talking about uh, a couple of things. An exhibition called uh, Picture the Creek. And uh, also we're going to be talking um, about... Uh, Kent Creative Arts organising an exhibition at the Horsebridge Centre as well. Natalie, as uh, always, it's uh, good to have you back at the studio. Thank you for inviting me again, Danielle. I was wondering, uh, it's a while since you spoke to you, so I was hoping you could introduce yourself um, to the listeners um, and then move on to giving us an introduction into that uh, exhibition, Picture the Creek. Yes, of course. Well, initially I'm an artist and I've been uh, setting up this uh, community interest company called Kent Creative Arts with a view of promoting Kent creativity, really, and help uh, local artists to promote themselves and develop relationships, etc. And uh, one of the things I do is to run community art projects, especially with photography. And that is what the picture of the creek is about. Do you want me to say a few things about it now? Yeah, yeah, that'd be good. Uh, So what it is, is I was contacted by uh, an organisation called the Brands Community Association in Faversham, who wanted to collect the various views of Faversham residents about the creek, which is our local waterway which has a lot of history attached to it and um, they wanted to find out from the residents what it means to them Uh, and to do it with pictures photography drawing painting is a good way to make it available for people to do it in a democratic and easy way so they spent about two months in the summer taking pictures drawing pictures digging out their old photos as well and things they've had for for a while uh, to draw a picture of Faversham Creek and we are going to show a selection of these pictures at uh, an exhibition in Faversham Versham next weekend, Saturday and Sunday. At the moment we're talking all about Picture the Creek and I think Natalie you're going to continue talking a little bit about that exhibition. Yes, absolutely. Um, yes, yeah, so we had people sending us uh, pictures during the two months in the summer. We had a drop-in day as well where people popped in and we scanned some of their photographs. That was well, very well attended, I must say, very nice because it was an opportunity to talk to people and share their stories. That was very nice. Um, so we had about 240 40 pictures sent from, oh, I think, about 60 people. So we're not going to show all of them at the exhibition, but a good part of them. And those that haven't been printed will be shown on uh, on iPad, so you can see all of them. And uh, that will be, as I said, next weekend uh, in Faversham. And um, what we are going to do part of this exhibition is to make it quite interactive with things for people to do so it's not just about coming and looking at the pictures but people will be able to draw there'll be kids will have some activities there to look through the pictures make them look at things and learn about the creek and the pictures um, there will be a f- local photographer called uh, Richard Torbull who will be doing a photo walk on Saturday and when people can learn how to take pictures along the creek. Uh, We'll have um, David Nettlingham from the University of Kent. He's doing a history project about people's stories and memories, and uh, he will be there on Saturday to talk to people and collect their stories about you know, industries on on the creek. Uh, We'll have people from the Brands Community Association to talk about it, as well as the main sponsor of this event, which is Amicus Horizon, the housing association. They've been very heavily involved uh, in this project. Um, And the visitors will be asked also to vote for their favourite picture, because that makes them look as well, and they can explain why they like it. But there will be lots of large sheets of paper, lots of colour pen, and all sorts of things for people to do things. And at the end of Sunday, we'll have a lot of stuff done. That would be really nice. And uh, I think next you were going to talk uh, a little bit more about the uh, details of the exhibition, but also talk about the Favisham Creek Trust and a bit about the creek as well. Wow, that's a lot in one go. Um, 
Yes, the exhibition uh, for uh, those who we were we're going to see actually at the weekend, please come along. It will be on Saturday and Sunday, 15th and 16th, between 11 o'clock and 5 in the Purifier building in Faversham, which is situated next to Morrison's car park. Uh, and I'm mentioning the building, it's very important because it is being managed by an organization in Faversham called the Faversham Creek Trust, which have been working on preserving the heritage of the creek and the maritime history there very well. Uh, and they have this building where they are going to do a lot of work with apprentices and uh, people who want to become shipwrights. It's quite an important task because of this local heritage. And if we don't practice developing skills in that field, this is something that's going to disappear. So it's part of the reason why a lot of people in Faversham, and that includes myself, are very keen on preserving what relates to the creek and its uh, heritage. And that's the reason really for this project to have been set up by uh, the Brands Association and Amicus Horizon. It's to collect the memories and the stories and the views of people, what it means for them to have this creek in town and how we can collect ideas as well for its future so we don't lose it. And it's very important to have some kind of consultation with the residents to tell us what they like and what they don't. So that's what the project is about. So all of this will be discussed this weekend. So it will be really nice to have a lot of people coming along and to take part as well. The Kent Creative Arts are also organising an exhibition at the uh, Horsebridge Centre. I was hoping you could give us a little bit of an introduction onto that one next before we talk about it in a bit more detail. Yeah. Um, well, that's another project we're running within Cannes Creative Arts, um, which is uh, an art exhibition for Kent artists who live, so artists who live or work in Kent. And we are going to organise that at the Horsebridge Centre in Whitstable between the 21st and the 27th of January. Now, we welcome all sorts of art, so it could be painting, sculpture, music, drama you know, installations, video, everything that is a media or art form, basically. Um, and there is a theme which is open to interpretation. It's soil. And artists find it quite uh, inspiring, apparently. So I'm looking forward to seeing what's going to come out. Uh, the idea is to um, submit work up to four pieces. The deadline is the 2nd of January 2015 and the works that is submitted will be uh, looked at by a jury panels made of people who work in museum and galleries um, and that is going to happen in the second week of January. Now we're talking to Natalie from Kent Creative uh, Arts. We've been talking about um, two exhibitions. At the moment we're talking all about the exhibition that uh, Kent Creative uh, Arts are organising uh, to be at the Horsebridge Centre. And I think you were next going to talk uh, a little bit about the, the judging process and the, uh, that, yes. that kind of thing. Yes, um, because we want um, a selection done to select uh, work within different criteria, make it some kind of unity. Um, and we wanted to get on the jury panel people who are art expert in a way and also who knows the art market a bit. So the artists would have the opportunity to showcase their work to people who can potentially help them afterwards. And uh, if you're an artist, you want your work to be seen by gallerists who may be interested in what you do. So the panel we have uh, chosen is made, and I'll, I'll be quick, by five, uh, six people. We have Mitch Robertson, who is the head of programming and collections at the BNE in Canterbury. We have Mark Paul Perry and Guy Portelli. They are both artists and director of the uh, South East England Art Fair. We have David Lilford, who's the director of the Lilford Gallery in Canterbury. We have Krista Cloutier, who runs the uh, Working Artists in London. She used to live in Kent, and she is uh, some kind of coach for artists. 
uh, and she's absolutely brilliant and she knows the art world very well and we then have Fiona Parry who is um, a programmer at uh, Turner Contemporary in Margate so all these people will be looking through all the artwork that will be submitted and will select a number to be shown in the show in January. And uh, Natalie, how can you uh, submit your work to the, uh, to the exhibition? Right, so if you're an artist and you make stuff uh, and you work something out on the theme of soil, uh, you can submit it to us uh, by email. Uh, there is a website first to check where you can download the submission form and the website is the website of our networking group for artists called Can Creative Live so I'll, I'll read out the address it's www.kentcreativelive.org and there is a button there a big thumbnail that says soil and on there everything is explained and you can download the submission form uh, that form would have to be sent before the 2nd of january where we're asking you the title of your work your name a little story about the artwork because that really is important to relate so the viewers i mean the visitors can relate to your work you know, say something about the history of it and how you came to make it and what it's about, etc. And a picture. So all the judges will have that for making their um, their decision. And, uh, and that's pretty much it. When the judges have made their selection, uh, there will be a hanging fee that is £15 per artwork, so, but you only pay if you're accepted. And when the artwork is exhibited, you'll be able to sell. Uh, so you also have to tell us how much you want to sell it for. Uh, there is no commission, so you keep all the money. Uh, we just ask, if you can, for some kind of donation, just so we can do more of these exhibitions. But that, that is it. So it's very simple, and uh, we'll see what the judges um, come up with. And that's just hoping before you go, if you could just re refresh our listeners about them and some of those useful details and information about them. Yes, well, so very simply, um, the first exhibition I invite you to come to is uh, the Picture of the Creek exhibition in Faversham at the Purifier building next weekend from 11 to 5, both days, Saturdays and Sunday, all about Faversham Creek and its uh, history and present and future even because you're going to tell us what you want to do with the creek and the second one is at the moment a call to artists in Kent to take part in an exhibition at the Whitstable um, Horsebridge Centre in January and it's on the theme of soil and you're invited to submit your work to take part and that is to be done until the 2nd of January so uh, the websites, both projects have a different website. So our main website for Kent Creative Arts is quite simply www.kentcreativearts.co.uk and for the soil exhibition, you would go to www.kentcreativelive.org and on, for both things, you could email us at info at kentcreativearts.co.uk and we'll get back to you with any answer to questions you might want to ask us. And, uh, and that's it. Kent is full of creative talent, full of interesting people and it's really about giving them some kind of uh, exposure to tell everyone how good they are. And that's as always. It's been great to have you along here at BFM. Thank you very much for telling our listeners all about those two exhibitions. Thank you, Danielle. And well done, because I'm hearing you're celebrating your eighth birthday doing interviews. So like your previous guest, I will applaud because you're doing a very great job. Well, thank, thank you, Natalie. You. Thank you. That is Natalie here at BRFM this evening.